action and they're in, they're on a sinking ship all of them and they're watching Teresa in the house that's on fucking fire and no one is running in to grab her they're just letting her burn and it's so crazy that they're allowing the so-called queen to burn to the fucking ground because once the queen is done there goes all of your little bunnies everybody like there goes your fucking bag so why no one has stepped in to do something is beyond me but maybe maybe this is their karma Maybe, you know, for trying to ruin John Fuda's business with the bad reviews and bringing out Britney, trying to ruin Margaret's Walmart deal and sabotaging Melissa Gorga, saying that your own nephew is not your brother's son, saying she was with Bulldog. I'm seeing the cake boss affair rumor surface again. Teresa was pushing that shit right after she filmed season 14 finale last October. She was in people, and I posted this, she was in people's DMs pushing the cake boss rumors. And I now see her fucking, her, I don't know, I don't even want to insult them anymore. It's pointless. Her fans, her little soldiers that she's still working with, pushing the same thing. And it's like, it's so obvious what they're doing. Like the, these people are still very much involved in hurting people. But at the same time, it's like, is anyone, anyone going to put a stop to any of this? And then you, I, as I sit back and I, I was telling somebody this about the, um, about like what we're watching play out in real time from the finale to like this moment right before we I hopped on this pod with you. I'm saying, guys, maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the karma. The house is burning down and maybe no one is going to stop and help because it just needs to fizzle away. Like maybe this is it. Maybe, maybe this is how it's meant to be and no one's intervening, intervening because they wanted to fall to the ground. I don't know. It's it's so I'm I'm shook, David. I can't believe what I'm witnessing. It's a whole. No one's, it, it, no one's it's, jumping in. It's crazy. It's like a whole camp of people that are just not living their authentic lives. It's the blind leading the blind statements and crossing things out and and it's just like they're all a bunch of they're banging their heads against the wall. And I guess no one wants to speak up to Teresa because she's the famous one and they're all afraid. I mean, look, we all know whoever goes and speaks to Teresa, what's going to happen. You will be exiled and banished to, you know, Pennsylvania or New York city, whatever state's closest, like it ain't going to go over well. But to me, if it was really my friend and let's face it, most of the people in this camp are not her real friends. I would say banish me. And then in a year or two, you will come back and you'll say, wow, you had my back and you were the only yeah, one. Yeah. That's what no, I would all, do. They're all users because I just had somebody who I still talk to, who I'm friends with, show me. They literally reached out to Roxanne and they're like, whoa, we're drowning here. Look at all the negative press around Louie. What do we do? You know what Roxanne said? I don't know about all that, but you can post my clip with Carlos King. And I thought, <laughs> that's funny. That that made me laugh. Like, well, yeah, everyone, absolutely everyone around Teresa is using her. But you know what? Like I like I was saying earlier, maybe maybe that's her karma. Like it sucks to say it, but you know, no one they're gonna just let it burn to the ground. No one's gonna intervene, no one's gonna do anything. I mean, I, I am I am really thankful though that a lot of people no longer have blinders on. Like a lot of people did, you know, and I remember when I was in the camp, I used to be like, Oh wow, how disgusting. Why are they insulting Louie? Why are they, you know, because you viewed him as a good guy but at this point. At this point in time, like far too much. And this has nothing to do with Vanessa Riser. This has nothing to do with any of the exes or the police reports that we've seen or the warrior video or him, you know, talking about his stepdaughters and thongs and how that's so awesome. This is simply what he's based off of what he said at the finale alone. That tells you who this man is. And based and... off of those words, like, guys, how how are you still saying he's a good guy? Like no one can take anything anybody says serious anymore if they're out there still saying this is a good guy. And the statement wasn't exactly, I mean, I saw online, which I thought was, I don't know where I saw it, where someone took a pen and crossed out all the words that were about him. And it was like a two sentence statement. Like, you know, I'm sorry. I said, I wish harm upon you and your family. Then yes, he goes on to make it all about himself, which I get your point, whether, you know, you didn't really call the son. So you say, and she's accusing you, but that's really, this isn't really the time and place for all of that. 
that doesn't negate the fact that you said you wished harm upon. I mean, I see people online that are tree huggers that are like, but Margaret's such a liar. Well, I mean, she might be, but that has nothing to do with what he said. That's a whole different thing. Yeah. And that's so crazy to me that they're still trying to excuse away what he said. That's what I mean. Like you guys don't need to take what Vanessa Riser has had to say or whatever, you know, Bravo and cocktails has thrown out there, the videos, whatever, just simply listen to what came out of his mouth during the finale. There was a reason why Andy Cohen, like the head honcho himself said the darkest moment of the RHO and Jay season 14 finale was not the fighting with the girls or whatever else, not even housewife. Like he didn't even give that moment to a housewife. He gave that moment to a housewife's husband and he gave it to Louie. I mean, he it's gave bad, it guys like quit, you know, skating around it. The sky is a red flag. And I don't know where I read this, but I read that he was, Andy was texting or texted Teresa before she watched it. Just, you know, because he does like her. That, that doesn't mean that he saved yeah. someone's job. He loves Luann and he loves, I mean, he doesn't love Sonia anymore, but he loves Ramona. And I mean, he doesn't, Andy does what's best for the network, but that he yeah. was texting Teresa just like heads up. This is in there. It's not edited. It's not going to be edited. Just a heads up. It's it's as bad as you probably think it is. I don't know where I read that, but I read that somewhere. Well, I think I think that if she does double down on it, if the tea that's coming from within her camp is true, that during the watch party she doubles down on it, then it's just going to get even worse for her. And we'll know when half the people listen to this. But did you also hear on that same podcast that Andy said, you know, now that he has kids, like, yes, it's the darkest moment and like he gets it. Like if someone put his kid's name in his mouth, he would literally go psychotic and go berserk. Yeah. And his yeah. dark evil side, which he doesn't even think he has, would come out and it yeah. would just be unbearable. Yeah. Yeah, no, he did. He he went into it. That was towards the end of that little podcast clip. Um, he did. He went into it. He said, you know, now that he has kids, his perspective has changed. And I mean, game over if you bring up his kids that way. And, you know, I think he sees it. I, I, I really do think, guys, if anything happens to Teresa show wise, like we don't see her next season, I would say that this man has was the nail in the coffin. Well, there are all those memes going around, which is true or not even memes, but they're like this man single handedly has ruined this show. And I'm like, that's not so far from the truth. No, no, it's not. No. And I love that people are actually like not afraid anymore. You know, they're they're in the same breath. These bloggers are saying this is who Louis really is. He's a bad fucking dude. He's a lunatic. He's a nut job, whatever. However, they're expressing that this guy is bad. They're also right after that saying, now I know we're going to get it like crucified on social media, but guess what? We don't give a fuck because it's time to fucking speak up, like rip the bandaid off, tell it like it is. We're not holding back. Fuck you, psycho fans. You're part of the problem too. This guy is trouble. And if you guys really love that lady, you would not be kissing the ring and bowing down and like, you know, working her up, gassing her, telling her her husband is a 